all of your hard work before he heads over to my house to take care of my yard. Roger joins us. Roger Weber joins us live to explain. Roger. Hey, Devin, I want to run through the sprinkler right now. I do that, except this is a story not about me being comfy, but about your lawn being healthy. Now, most lawns can tolerate some drought and then bounce back. But if you want one of those deep, lush lawns, you are going to have to water heavily. But there's a right way and a wrong way. A little bit, you know, bring some more of the nutrients. Down Matt Curseth of English Gardens in Royal Oak says those thirsty blades need an inch and a half to two inches of water per week. He says the best time to water is midday, when the grass is under stress. And be sure to give it enough water to soak in. If you don't put enough water on, what will happen is just that water will only build up in that first inch and a half in the soil. It won't have time to leach farther down, or the root system will just be really shallow. So when we have drought periods like this, roots aren't developed so far down where they'll be able to draw on the groundwater. And if you don't have a sprinkler system, uh, you can use a regular water timer that will attach just to your regular garden hose and sprinkler. Uh, something like this, battery operated, you can lay the sprinkler out in the middle of the yard uh, when you leave for work in the morning, set it to turn on for your 15, 20, 25 minute interval, and uh, it'll be all set. What about the perennials and the annuals? What time do you water those? Perennials and annual gardens, you don't have too much time, too much problems with watering times. You can go ahead and put the sprinklers down at any point. There are a few issues with other landscape plants like roses and Japanese maples uh, that do have issues with water on the leaves during the, when the sunlight is out. Matt, a lot of people are using soaker hoses for their flowers. Mm -hmm. It's a very, very good way to, to keep your landscape plants uh, watered. Uh, it's very water efficient because it puts the water right down near to the base of the plant where you need it. One other tip for uh, this time of year, you want to raise the cutting height on your mower. Your, your grass should be maybe two and a half, three inches long, and that will help shade itself and do better in drought periods. Uh, coming up at six, we'll have information on how to make your air conditioning run more efficiently. I'm Roger Weber reporting live in Troy. All right, Roger. You know, most everyone loves.